This video is to show how to change images on your website or to add new images. So first you load your dashboard, which is already loaded here, and then navigate to the page you want to change the image on. We'll choose Pages in the left panel here. We'll go and use the home page as our example. Click on Home. Open the home page editing screen. And then scroll down, you see the initial image logo here. If we want to change that, simply click this icon here, Edit Element. It's the square with the pencil in the corner. Choose Edit Element. And as it loads, you choose Insert Image. If the image you want to load is already been used or uploaded to your website, you can ch choose it from here. If it's not been uploaded, you need to upload it by choosing Upload Files. Select the file. This will open up your Windows Explorer to look at your hard drive. So the image must already be on your hard drive and preferably optimized for web usage. I created another video showing how to reduce the file size so it loads quicker. And you sim simply choose the image you'd want to use and select Open. And you can add text to it if you like that labels it. And then you would click insert as soon as it's loaded. Sometimes it can take a while to load the larger images. So you would click insert and then it would be loaded. And I won't load it actually there. And you can change different options here, such as the styling or how it fades or comes in. So I'll show some other examples with that. If we scroll down to the image of the therapist Grace here. Click edit element and the element's already there. Let's say you want to change some of the styling. You can change the image alignment, if it's a circle, or if it's no styling. There, you can check these are just a box there. Or back to a circle. Changes how it appears. The advanced would be this hover effect. It zooms in when you move the mouse on top of the image. And this is very important here, this lab enable lazy loading. So that means the picture doesn't load until it's actually seen on the screen, which um, dramatically increases the loading time. So it says here sometimes it doesn't work. I've never seen it not working. But if there's ever a problem with the website, you can try taking the lazy loading off by do not use lazy loading. But you want to go through each image and make sure lazy loading is on to improve your load times so people have a smoother, quicker experience with the website. Okay, that's the basic image changing. You can see here that there's text here to the left in the image and then the, back, the background of all this that you can barely see is this brown grass here and then you know, the ocean behind it here. So the way that WordPress shows the hierarchy is if it's to the left and above, as you can see here, these different windows here, to the left and to the above is, is behind. So what's on top is to the right and, and below. So this is here, this text is on top. Grace's image is on top. Beneath that is this containing window here. And then containing all of these is this window here. And then to edit what's behind it, this section here, so here's the larger window that here that contains all of these smaller windows. You choose edit section. Then you can change the styling here. You want to change the background image which is what that background image of the ocean is there that we could barely see before. So you can change, you can, you can insert a new image there, just like we did before. Choose a different image there if you'd like. You can also change some of the options of how it stretches to fit or if it centers where it is. Another important option is to change the background overlay. The overlay can be uh, more or less transparent, brighter or darker. So the larger this number is, the brighter the image will be, the less transparent it is. You also change the overlay color here. So we'll, once you make your changes, you hit update to change it. It takes a few seconds, usually about five seconds. And then you can click on preview to go to the website itself and see what the changes look like. So you scroll down, and here's what we were looking through here is what it actually looks like. Image of the therapist on the right, the text to the left, and then the background of the ocean scene here. And you can see it's not the full brightness there because the overlay is on it. So that's basic image changing. You can also change the color here of this area by simply navigating to that 
areas of treatment section, you can just see it are those blue dots indicate the color there. If we click Edit Cell and Styling, let's see, and then select Color to change the color there. You can choose whatever color you want, either from here or if you know the color code. And again, that would change this here, these colors here. This next areas of treatment section is unique, so I'll show you how to change there. So here you're not seeing any pictures there, because of what this is, is a special heading with a portfolio. So there's that heading there. And below it is the masonry. So the, this masonry pulls from different areas. So if you edit the element of the masonry, you can choose where it por is pulling from. It's pulling from these portfolio entries called services. And I set up different portfolios, all with the label of services, to create images there where it pulls in. So this pulls in. Each one of these is a different service portfolio. So how do you edit the service portfolios? Go back to your dashboard by clicking here. View the pages. You want to go down to, uh, let's see, where it says portfolio items. Click portfolio items. So this will look like your pages, but they're actually different as portfolios. So each one of these here, anxiety, faith-based counseling, perinatal mental health, children and families, is a portfolio that I created here. And it's been given the category of services, so it pulls it in there. If you want to change this image, you go to edit this page and change the featured image. So that's on the right, these settings here. So this is where it is here, is this featured image, and you would click Replace Image. So that's a little more advanced to change that image. You have to go into, I'll go through that again to show you. This section here, it's the masonry. To pull up the portfolio, go to Portfolio Items here what the screen is. Choose the particular portfolio you want to change. Choose Edit. And then choose the image that you want to change, the featured image of this on the right here, these settings. And then simply click Update when you're done. And that is how you do that. I'll create a separate video showing how to start from scratch, or maybe a new page, to make images there.